I am Ro D. Ro. This is brand new to me. I was a local radio icon. I didn't abide by the rules. Thanks to haters, it came to an end. I had to figure out my voice and my brand. What's changed in two decades? I've grown up, married my college love, and interviewed real bosses from all over. I eliminate the cell phone employee. Grind for the net. Put in the work. Become a master. This is Network Master. Marissa Sergi started her love affair with wine at age five. Yes, I said age five in the basement of her parents' home. Now a graduate of Cornell University, work she did while in school led to her famous brand, and she's in multiple Walmart accounts right now. Marissa Sergi, thanks for taking your time out here on Network Master. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Okay, started a love affair with wine at age five. Now, if I'm about to be a dad, I don't want to hear love affair or (laughs) wine at age five. You got to tell us this experience. (laughs) That's a good one. Essentially, I'm a third generation winemaker, and I grew up around it. Oh, And my great, oh yeah, my grandparents had been watching me that day, and I disappeared on my pack and play or whatever area that was supposed to be secured (laughs) and they searched high and low in cabinets and they found me in the basement trying to get wine out of a barrel with my sippy cup (laughs) crazy of course you did not get in trouble yeah definitely most likely to get in trouble (laughs) i think it was just more of a funny memory i almost can't believe the story is true but i must have been super determined to get some wine that day i suppose um but definitely something that i really enjoy sharing because it really showcases that having that family tradition and being brought up around wine has really uh, been part of my entire life Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. being able to carry on that passion through redhead wine has been incredibly exciting and such an honor to be able to share a wine through the brand. Speaking of carrying that passion, it wasn't too long after age five that you went public with your dream career <laughs> of being in the wine business. How old were you then? I was about 10 years old. <laughs> uh, I, I always joke that I went public because I recorded back in my um, memory book hmm. for elementary school every year. Uh, at the beginning of the school year, you write your name, you know, how your signature improves and your hopes, your dreams, your favorite color, and, of course, what you want to be when you grow up. And at that point, I said I wanted to be a winemaker. (laughs) So it's really exciting to look back on some of my childhood memories and see that I really wanted to do this from a young age. Mm. We're talking to Marissa Sergi here on Network Master. Visit the website, networkmaster.live. Download the audio either at the site or on Google Play Or iTunes. Now, Marissa, you're in school. You're, what, age 10, maybe 4th, 5th, 6th grade, depending on when you started school. What what did the teacher say when she saw this? Honestly, I'm not sure. But (laughs) I know the teachers that I grew up with were really supportive Mm. and really emphasized the importance of being yourself and being creative and Mm. trying to pursue your passion. So, potentially was supported. If not, I was probably sent to a school counselor thinking it had some issues. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I was never discouraged to pursue this as uh, something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So it's really nice to be able to say that because I know so many individuals aren't able to say that and they aren't supported. So right. I really enjoy um, you know, spreading my story to help encourage others to keep pushing forward. So, Marissa, now you're all grown up. You went to Cornell University. Senior year, you had to do a project. And that's what led to your business now? How'd that work? That's correct. It was my capstone project to graduate from Cornell's Viticulture and Enology major, which is a science of grape growing and winemaking. And instead of doing traditional research, maybe in a lab or in the vineyards, I presented to my professors, hey, could I design a label and see if I can get it to the market Mm. as my project. And they said, absolutely. And I was so thrilled because I don't want to dig holes or test for uh, (laughs) certain insects or bacteria in the vineyard for six months. (laughs) was not my cup of tea, although I do enjoy some vineyard work once in a while. But this sparked my interest because I really enjoy being creative. Mm. So that was really 
a great way to get a jump start on the Redhead Project. Were you starting to get accounts before you got out of college? Actually, yes. Originally, it was just going to be a label, and then I you know, created the wine. It's a blend of Carmen Air and Zinfandel, very smooth and fruity with a light spice. And I think in 2014, I scored 20 accounts during my undergrad, and I was barely legal at the time. <laughs> um, I actually started the label when I was 19, crazy enough, but essentially just being in 20 accounts, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And then as the wine caught on in my market, Hmm. uh, it naturally gained more traction organically. We're talking to Marissa Sergi right here on Network Master. Make your way to the site, networkmaster.live. Share this audio with your family, friends, and network. Now, Marissa, you started your business age 19. You got 20 accounts age 20. How did you work? I mean, you obviously have a figure it out and do whatever it takes attitude because you were selling alcohol before you could even buy it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I like the, yep. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a very unique situation because When you study wine at Cornell University, you don't have to be of age to sample in certain buildings because they have an educational permit. Hmm. And in the state of Ohio, where I grew up and made wine uh, with my parents, if your parents consent, you're allowed to consume alcohol Hmm. in the state of Ohio. So it allowed me to make the wine and taste it. It's not like I was drinking like crazy, like people think, you know, us young millennials do but i was really doing it to make sure i was offering the most high quality premium wine blend i could so it was really nice to be able to have that opportunity you started a business that's blowing up tell us about the mindset and the hustle that it takes to get so many accounts how many stores are you in right now i would have to say approximately 400 and growing by the day wow i just visited 10 more accounts and i was so so lucky to run into a walmart district manager and He actually has heard my story and just read the paper. I was on the front cover of the the Vindicator um, newspaper. So he's like, oh, I know you. And he's going to help me get, I believe, 27 to 30 holiday displays at Walmart accounts, Hmm. which is awesome. Hmm. So honestly, when he said hustle and mindset, just getting your story out there, Hmm. if the decision makers see you before you meet them in person, it really helps because they know you're being sincere. You're trying to be a good partner, and it helps open doors that you're trying to create, too. We're talking to Marissa Sergi right here on Network Master. Now, Marissa, tell us the name of the business and the product again. Redhead Wine. I do have a website, redheadwine.us, but I'm currently offering two wines, a Redhead Red Blend, which is a blend of Carmen Air and Zinfandel from California, which is very fruit-forward, smooth, and has a light spice. It doesn't have tannin in it, which makes wine bitter, Hmm. so it's not a bitter red whatsoever. It's very fun, approachable, and very sophisticated. And I also have a dry, fruity, and crisp and refreshing rosé, which is amazing. It's very different because it has a lot of bright, fresh fruit notes, but it has a pop of sassiness, if I do say myself, Hmm. (laughs) because it has 13.9% alcohol, so... If you have a bad day, drink this rosé. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking to Marissa Sergi. Thanks so much for taking your time out here on Network Master. Of course. I had a great time talking about business and mindset and being a hustler over here, trying to make this American dream come true with redhead wine. 